guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another empties video to share with you. And yeah, I feel like this month I don't have as many empties. My empties bin is a little bit kind of low and normally I would just wait until it fills up more, but I have so many sheet masks this time. Let's do this a little differently. Normally I start with skincare, but almost everything in here is skincare. So I think I'm going to do the makeup first and then we'll get into all the skincare after that. Okay, so much skincare in there. All right, first of all, I have two eyeliners that I threw out. This one I actually just threw out today. This is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner in Black. I loved this, you guys. I mentioned this in a favorites, a monthly favorites video, I think in January, but this was really good. It's almost an exact dupe for the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner um, or also the um, Physician's Formula Eye Booster, which those two are kind of my favorite liquid liners, but this one is right up there. The only thing about this one is I feel like I ran through it a little bit faster than I do with the other two liners, but it's also half the price of the Physician's Formula one, so it's definitely worth checking out if you have not tried that yet. Um, I, on the last time that I mentioned this, a lot of people said they were having a hard time finding it. Um, Jessie's Girl is sold in Rite Aid in certain locations, but I don't think everywhere. So if you have a Rite Aid near you, it's worth checking out to see if they carry it. All right, and then the other um, liner that I had in here is actually a, a little travel size version of the inked liner from Kat Von D. This came in like a little kit or something that I got during the holidays and I went through that guy pretty quick so I also really do like that one a lot. The only thing about the ink liner over the tattoo liner, it just because it's felt tip does tend to dry out a little faster. And then I did also use up this little YSL mini mascara sample that I had. This is the Vinyl Couture uh, mascara. I was not that big of a fan of this guy. Um, I just felt like it coated my lashes really nicely and made them like ultra black, but it did not give me very good volume or length. So I just, I would not repurchase that one. And then I have a um, travel size of my Urban Decay D-Slick also um, empty. I love these travel size ones for traveling, obviously, um, because it is a good size to um, to fly with and you can stick it in your little liquids bag and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So I really love these travel ones and the D-Slick is my favorite for any, um, for during the summer or like if I'm traveling somewhere hot. I love this because it helps to control oil and I can get a little oily in um, hot environments. So, all right, that was it for the makeup. That wasn't very much, but oh my gosh, you guys, skincare. I have so, so much in here. Let's start with all these one-time use masks because I have a whole crap load of them. First of all, I have one of the Bosha Saki Brightening Hydrogel Eye Masks. I love these. These are really nice for uh, mornings when you feel like your eyes are a little puffy. Usually um, in the morning, I'm get, I get my kids ready before I put on my makeup. So sometimes I will, you know, brush my teeth, wash my face, stick these on, and then go help my kids get ready. Um, because it's a really nice way to like de-puff and wake up your under eye. I really love those. Definitely recommend those guys. I also have three empties of these um, Dr. Jart All That Contours. I actually did use a fourth one while we were on vacation, but I didn't bring my um, empty package home. Um, so I actually did use four of these in the last month. Um, this mask is uh, amazing. I also talked about this in a favorites video. I love this mask. It's a two piece mask. So you have the, you know, the first half goes from like right on your lip and up. And then the lower half, you have the hole for your mouth. And then it has two little holes on the side that you stretch up over your ears. And then it goes like underneath your neck as well. And it's supposed to just like lift and firm everything. And I fell in love with this mask. I got it in a kit. And the first time I used it, I was like, this is really bizarre. But after you remove it, you can literally see a difference in your skin just looking lifted and firm and tight. And it's amazing. I, I, I love that mask. I will continue to buy those for sure. And I highly recommend trying them out. I also used one of the water replenishment uh, one-time use masks from Dr. Jart. This one's okay. Um, this one is I really like using these types of hydrating masks after I do like something like the Glam Glow Youth Mud or something like that that's a little bit drying. I'll put something like this on just to kind of add the moisture back in. Um, I don't feel like it gives me a ton of results other than just moisture, which um, 
it's nice. I definitely do like the Dr. Jart mask. And then the last Dr. Jart mask that I had is the Brightening Infusion um, Hydrogel Mask. This was really nice as well. It is a two-piece mask also, but it doesn't have like the stretch part to it. Um, but I did really enjoy this one as well. Recently, I've been using a lot of Dr. Jart masks and they're kind of becoming my favorite currently. Okay, so I also have three empties from the Peach and Lily brand. So they actually sent me these sheet masks and a few others to try. And I went through all three of these. These were really nice. I really, really like them. The first one is the Chubby Cheeks Lift and Plump. Um, this one's good for obviously firming and lifting the skin. And I really enjoyed this one. Now, it is more of a sheet mask and not like a gel type consistency, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really nice. And then the Reset Button Soothe and restore. I really liked this. I'm definitely going to purchase some more of these. Uh, when I got back from our trip, from our vacation, my skin was very like just irritated. I didn't have any breakouts or anything, but it just was like really dry and I had some texture and it was just from not taking good care of my skin when we were on vacation and then, you know, the flying and the different weather and everything. So it definitely did a number on my skin, but I used this when I got home and it felt so refreshing and my skin felt so much softer and so much better after using this. So I'm definitely going to get a few more of these. I really liked that one. And then the last one from that set is called the Good Skin Day. It's a drench and nourish mask. So this one's also just for hydration and um, yeah, it was okay. The hydration ones aren't my favorite just because in general I have more combo to oily skin. So hydration is usually not on the top of my list for, um, for treatments. But uh, like I said, these are really nice after I use something more drying on my skin. Then next I have this Maison sheet mask. This was also sent to me by Peach and Lily. This is the Enjoy Vital Time Hold Your Face Fit. Um, sheet mask. So this one is also supposed to be for um, for tightening. So yeah, this one was okay. Um, I still prefer the one from um, Dr. Jart, but this one was this one was okay. All right, next up, I have a couple Corona's or just one. Oh, I just have one Karuna this time. That is so surprising. Um, so this is the brightening uh, sheet mask from Karuna. You guys have heard me talk about Karuna a million times. I love all of their sheet masks. The brightening one is probably my favorite, but the age-defying one is probably a close second. I really love these, so used one of those this month. And then, oh, I have another Dr. Jart one. This is one of the um, cheek and eye lifts. These ones are a little bit more expensive, the ones that have like the little capsules on the front. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're supposed to be a lot more of like a targeted treatment. And this one was specifically for cheek and eye lift. I really did enjoy this one. Um, I feel like I want to get some more of these so I can give it more of a try because that's the first time I've tried one of these particular ones. So I'm definitely going to get some more. But this one is not a full sheet mask because it's meant for just the cheek and eye. It's almost like, um, well, let me show you the picture. There's a picture that kind of depicts what it looks like. So as you can see that where the girl is applying it right here, it almost goes just like on the tops of your cheeks right below your eyes. So it's not a full sheet mask. It's just a targeted treatment. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cool. I definitely want to try more. Okay, and then the last sheet mask I have is from SNP. I have a whole set of these and I've been trying them and I really have been liking them. Um, they remind me a lot of the um, Tony Moly sheet masks if you've ever tried those. Um, they're very refreshing. Um, don't expect like miraculous results from these ones. They're more for just like usually hydration and just um, waking up the skin. This one is a brightening one, but they're very relaxing. So I definitely really like these. And I like the fact that they have little character faces on them because it's really cute and my kids really liked it too. So definitely liked that one. All right, actually I did have some more in here. I have um, one of the Shiseido uh, Wrinkle Resist Eye Masks. So these are the one-time use um, little shields that go underneath your eye. This was really nice as well. I really did enjoy this one and I would repurchase that as well. I think I have a few extras still to use up. All right, I'm not gonna talk too long about this because <clears throat> I did do a full review on these and I will link that above for you guys. It was not a good review. So um, these are from Patchology. These are the Lip Renewal uh, Five Minute Hydrogel Masks. So you apply them like a sheet mask just to your lips. I did not like them. I did not like the fit. I didn't like the taste of them. They taste really bad and um, I 
I didn't see results that I was happy with whatsoever. So I will link the review above. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on those. So if you're interested in hearing more, you can watch that video. Um, I also have just one of these. I used a few on the trip too, which I didn't. I don't keep my empties when I'm on vacation because it's just too hard to travel home with garbage. But um, I used a few on my trip as well. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross gross um, alpha beta daily peels so they're just the peels that come in the little uh, packets like this and I really do like these uh, for travel that is mostly when I use them because they're so much more convenient they're not liquid so you can just throw a whole bunch of packs of these in your bag and you're set for any like peeling that you want to do while you're on your trip um, at home I've been using my uh, Kate Somerville uh, Retin-A I think it's called Retin-A micro peel or something like that that's what I use at home but it's a really large tube and it is liquid so for travel purposes I like these better but these do a really Really good job but they're super gentle so I definitely recommend trying these out all right I also have a small pack of these Ula Henriksen uh, truth cleansing cloths these are in the old packaging he just came out with his new packaging which is really exciting um, but this was just a 10 pack and I went through that fairly quickly I do really like those I pretty much like everything from Ula's truth line everything is really amazing in that line Next up, I have this eye cream from First Aid Beauty. This is the Eye Duty Triple Remedy uh, AM Gel Cream. This I did not like. Um, I pretty much just forced myself to use it up, but I would not repurchase this. Um, it's just too lightweight for me. I did not feel like it gave me enough hydration, so I was starting to see the little fine lines and like dehydration underneath my eye kind of popping up while I was using this because it did not give me enough hydration. Um, so I just, I didn't feel like it was doing anything for me. I have so many other eye creams that I really prefer over this. So uh, to me, I would, I don't recommend this and I would not repurchase that guy. So speaking of eye creams, this here is actually my very favorite Holy Grail eye cream. Um, I already have repurchased this, so I am using this again, but this is my um, Algenis Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I love this. This one gives me enough hydration. Whenever I use this, I do not have the little fine lines underneath my eye. It really really gives you enough moisture that it's very hydrated and plump underneath your eye area. So if you have not tried this, you should definitely, definitely try this. It's amazing. Um, and then every product from Algenist, everything in their line has the um, algoronic acid in it, which is uh, propri proprietary to them. So um, you won't find it in any other skincare line. It's only from Algenist. And it is a really good anti-aging ingredient. So I definitely recommend trying this out. All right, we're almost done already. This was a lighter month for product. Um, next, I have a little empty of my Lancome Biofacil. Bio I don't know how to say that eye makeup remover so I really like this a lot but it's very expensive um, I actually have this in here too so I'll talk about them together um, this is the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover and these obviously are both travel size but um, of the two they work almost exactly the same but this is like three times as expensive so I'll definitely continue purchasing this one here um, over the Lancome one because I feel like I get the same result but it's a lot a lot less expensive so but I do really like both of them they both do a great job of removing all your eye makeup even if you're wearing waterproof um, mascara it takes everything off and it's not harsh so it doesn't remove your lashes so I really do like both of them a lot all right and then next up I have an empty from Tatcha this is the balanced pore perfecting water gel moisturizer I really liked this a lot. If I remember correctly, I think this was I think this was recommended for oily skin, um, but it's also um, got a little bit of illumination to it. It's not like crazy illumina illuminizing, but it does give you a little bit of a glow. But I really did like this a lot. I was very sad when I ran out of it, but it lasted me a long time. Like I feel like I was using this for like probably four solid months. So I definitely got a lot of use out of it and this is something I would repurchase. It's just a little pricey. Um, so I need to get through some of the other moisturizers that I currently own, but I would definitely consider repurchasing this one because I really, really liked it. Next up, I have a coffee scrub actually. This is from Premium Nature and this is the Arabica coffee scrub. I got this from Amazon. It was highly rated on Amazon and I really liked it, but honestly, if 
I think it was just coffee grounds and olive oil, or coffee grounds and some sort of an oil base. Um, it was hydrating, it smells like coffee, there's grounds in it, so I feel like you could totally make this yourself at home. Um, but I really did like it a lot, and I don't think it was that expensive. I will link any product that I enjoyed, I will link down below so you guys can check it out. Um, but yeah, I thought this was nice, and I definitely enjoyed using it. I also have a, uh, a facial cleanser here from Kate Somerville. This is the Exfolicate Cleanser. It's a gentle foaming daily cleanser. I heard some people talk about this being harsh, and honestly, you guys, this is one of the most gentle cleansers I've used, but my skin is not super sensitive, so um, I think maybe try a sample of it first from Sephora if you're concerned about it being too harsh for your skin, but I thought it was very gentle. I really like the way that it foams up. I felt like it got my skin extremely clean without feeling stripped or dehydrated, and I really enjoyed it a lot. This is something I will definitely repurchase as soon as I get through some of my other cleansers. I have way way too much skincare right now, so I need to get through some before I start repurchasing more, but this is something I really enjoyed quite a bit, and I do recommend that. I've been really obsessed with Kate Somerville products in general recently. Um, like, half my skincare regimen is Kate Somerville, so um, I've been really, really enjoying that brand right now. All right, and then next I have an, another uh, bath empty. This is from Pure Body Naturals. This is the Lavender Bliss Shampoo Body Wash bubble bath, so it's like a multi-tasking product. Um, I just used this as a bubble bath though. I did not use it for shampoo or body wash. Um, I really liked it for a bubble bath. It really got like foamy. It didn't give you like big, like frothy bubbles or anything. It was just more foamy, um, but it smells amazing and it definitely uh, was very like invigorating for the bath. I really did enjoy that. And I went through it actually pretty quick. Um, you can find this on Amazon as well. Alrighty, I also have a mask that I used up. This is from Ula Henriksen. This is the Firm Act Firm Action Mask. I've talked about this in favorites a few times, I believe. Um, this is probably the fourth jar I've gone through. This is one of the best, like, multitasking masks I've found. It basically addresses, like, all skin concerns. So it's for anti-aging, it's for firming the skin, it's for refining and purifying. It just kind of covers everything. It's, um, it's just really, really good. It has the clay in there, so it's going to pull out all the impurities and I just really like it, and it's not too drying. I, and sometimes those Glam Glow masks can really dry out my skin, but this one doesn't. It's just really, really nice. I definitely recommend trying it if you can find it. It's a little tricky to find. I found my last couple on Amazon, so I will link that for you guys down below if I can find it there still. Okay, and then next up I have another body scrub. This is from The Body Shop. This is the Satsuma Body Polish in Clementine. I love this. It smells so good. It's so like citrusy and refreshing. This is something I will for sure re repurchase. I love using body scrubs, but I really loved this scent in particular. It just like is like a wake me up in the morning when you're taking your shower. It's just one of those really like invigorating scents. So I just really enjoyed it and I definitely will get that again for sure. Okay, we're almost done already. So the last empty that I have is from Skin to Met. This is a um, skin therapy moisturizing shaving cream or shaving gel. So this was okay. I used to use these skin to mints pretty much um, exclusively until I started trying my Jergens in shower moisturizer as a um, shaving gel and it works amazing you guys. So that's the only thing I'm going to buy moving forward to shave with because it does such a great job of preventing me from getting razor burn or from nicking and it just like moisturizes your skin so well. Um, so I'm definitely going to switch to that but this was okay for a shaving gel but that was all the empties that I had to share with you guys for this month. I know it was quite a lot of skincare. It was like the month of skincare for me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions or comments for me, please leave those down below. I'd be happy to answer those. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.